Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now I know I haven't been doing a video in a very long time and the only reason for that is because my wife's uh, father decided to come up and stay with us during the winter so it's been a little distracting because of that but I have purchased a bunch of stuff and it will take some time to get through. I've got maybe about, let me see, uh, six videos I gotta do. So I got some catching up to do. So I'm sorry about the dry spell. It's only because when he's here, uh, he has a tendency to be very loud talking because he's a little deafened in the ears. And he's 90 years old, so he's up there in age. And they got a dog, so it's been a bit noisy, so I can't do any videos because of that. But now, he has gone over to my wife's sister's house. He's going to stay there for a couple weeks. So it gives me the opportunity to go ahead and do some videos. Now today we're going to be touching base on this particular figure I found at Walmart. It is the, uh, the actual Frankenstein Christopher Lee version from, um, uh, I think it's 1973. It's a hammer, a hammer, hammer film, Hammerstein, hammer something. But anyway, uh, it's this particular figure and we're going to talk about this figure. Yeah, it's a hammer film, see, that's what it says there, hammer. So I did find this in Walmart, okay, it is horror. Now, you'll notice that it says 17 plus, so anything younger cannot be playing with these toys, okay, guys? I'm just messing around. That's just what they say. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, I'm going to let you look at the box art, and then I'm going to take it out of the box. And then we're going to go from there, okay? Choking hazards. No, okay. okay, that's the actual figure in a container. Now, on the back... As you can see, that's the actual photo of Christopher Lee as the Frankenstein monster. It does have 14 points of articulation, as you can see, which is pretty impressive for a figure. Most of them, like your, um, your NECA figures, I think there's 15 points of articulation. This one here, is, for some reason, has got 14. So we're going to check it out here in a second here. So what I'm going to do, and it's made in China, just so you know, okay? Everything is made in China anymore. I'm going to take this out of its box, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, we got it out of its box. Now, I will tell you this. It's rather easy pulling it out of its box. It's a clamshell. You pull it out. You pull the back casing off of it, and it's that easy. Most of the time, they got them tied in and stuff like that, but in this case, not so much. Now, I will tell you this. Based on this, so we can give you a brief description of it. This is, in fact, hang on for a second here. Oh, it's Amigo. Okay. Okay. This here is Amigo figure. Okay. Now, there's a lot of people out there on YouTube that collect these figures. This is actually my very first Amigo figure. I'm not a big fan of these kind of figures because they just come off as being rather cheap. But in this case, I'm seeing that they're that's not the case because you know they do have a nice little look to them. Alright. But Amigo is one of those cheaper brands. They're like right below neck on all of them. And there's a lot, if you ever want to get into Amigo, they got all kinds of ungodly figures based on very unique characters in themselves. They got the Wolfman, Dracula, all that stuff. Okay, but this is very cloth material-like, okay? And the hands, okay, they're a little bit weird. When it pulled it out of its clamshell, they had it like that. And you can see the wrists, they do bend, okay? So, yeah, it does get a little flexibility there. Same with this one here, okay? So, let's go ahead and look at the hands. Now, there is no other accessories that come with these Miko figures. I mean, not this one anyway. Okay. Now, this is more like a doll figure, so it does have the cloth material. Now, it's not like a um, NECA figure where you have the hole in the bottom of the uh, shoe. That's not the case here, so you're not going to be able to use a NECA stand on these unless you drill a hole. But it should stand on its own, so it shouldn't have a problem with that. 
Okay, but here's the back of it. All the way down to the feet. Okay. Now, whether this comes apart or not, feels like, yeah, it's Velcro strapped. Okay. I mean, Velcro, not strapped. And that's what the chest looks like. Hang on. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. All right. Let's get a close look at the face. That's the Christopher Lee uh, Frankenstein monster, which I think it did come out in 1973. I could be wrong about the date. Now I do have other figures that are um, I'm going to be doing here, because like I said uh, about the situation with my uh, wife's. Uh, Father, I do have some Killer Clown lunchbox and some Trick or Treat Studios version of the Killer Clowns, the three most popular ones. And I also got um, uh, the Goosebumps uh, mask based on the uh, Jack O' Lantern. We're going to get into that as well. So we got some uh, videos that we got to do. So in the meantime, this is what this is. Okay, it's nothing really overly impressive, but the figure in itself is very doll-like. And it can stand on its own. The legs, they do bend, just like a neck of figure. The feet, they bend as well. Okay. Yeah. Same with the arms here. Okay. They bend at the elbows, just like any other figure, really, technically. They're not bad built either. Yeah. But anyway. That is my figure based on the Hammer uh, Frankenstein monster with Christopher Lee. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day.